Hello everyone, Cooktai here and welcome back to another Dinkum video. So in this video I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the mines. So make sure you stay tuned and watch the video right to the end. And then hopefully by the end of the video you'll know everything you need to know about the mines. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so let's start for anyone who hasn't unlocked the mine yet. This is how you unlock the mine. So you need to head over to Fletch and you need to have your deep mining license so as you progress through the game you will have the opportunity to unlock the deep mining license once you have unlocked the deep mining license you will then be able to get the deed for the deep mine and once you have placed your deed down and like all the other buildings once you have gathered the correct resources and you've built it you will end up with this building here which is the mine elevator but before we head down to the mines let's just go through a few things you need to organize before you head on down there so one thing i do recommend is you empty your inventory as much space as you possibly can now i do recommend crafting some wattle brew as well as that gives you a mining bonus and an energy bonus now if you're not sure on how to craft a wattle brew i'll leave a link down in the description down below of my crafting guide and using the kegs leading on from the wattle brew i recommend you have a good choice of food i prefer the go meat or even the cooked flake which is a shark meat these two are both brilliant as they give you a health and energy bonus now you will need a rather strong pickaxe either a copper pickaxe or if you are lucky enough to grab some iron and upgrade your mining license i do recommend getting the iron one as well i also recommend taking a hammer with you hammers are really handy as a backup for the pickaxe they are a bit slower but they are handy for mining as well and then lastly i recommend getting some weapons i've just got a couple of spears here that should see me through as there are a couple of annoying dangerous creatures down in the mines so also if you head over to john's i recommend buying the tool Torch. Now a torch is handy, A to see in the dark, but B you can also use it to stun enemies which just makes it easier getting rid of them and freeing up some space. And lastly before we go into the mines we need to purchase the mine pass over here. Now the mine pass is 25,000 dinks and it can only be used for one trip so each trip you take down into mines will cost you 25,000 dinks. So that's why I provided this guide so you can make sure you have everything sorted before you go down there to make the most out of your trip into the mines okay so here we are in the mines so if we just open up our map as you can see here the mines are quite big but don't worry too much as you explore the mines the map will reveal itself and it's pretty straightforward to find your way back but what i like to do is if you just zoom in and you head over here and you left click on the mine exit it will highlight it here on the mini map for you so you can find it easier to find your way back so let's grab our torch out and let's do some mine exploration so as you can see here what we can find in the mines is these glowing mushrooms now on your first visit it down here you might want to collect these these can be used for crafting recipes on my first few trips down here i don't like to bother with these because i like to save my inventory space for the more valuable items but it's up to you whether you want to pick these up or not so in regards to ores in the mine you can find your normal tin you can find your stone and you can find your copper but the main ore that you want to be mining down in the mines is this one over here which looks very similar to the tin but as you can see it is shimmering a bit now if we break this one as you can see it takes a lot longer than the tin ore and sometimes you get a bonus shiny stone so that's handy but this is what you want you want the iron ore now your iron ore will let you upgrade your weapons and your tools once you have the required license so it's always worth picking as much iron as you can when you're down here and as you can see here you can also find copper so if you're struggling to find copper on the ground level you can always grab it when you're down here now in regards to hostile enemies down in the caves your most common one that you'll come across is bats but you'll also find over here the glowing mushroom crocodiles now these just behave like any normal crocodiles they can sometimes release a nice poison mushroom cloud so you do want to watch out for them there we go our crocodiles down now they don't drop anything different than normal crocodiles they are just glowing mushroom crocodiles now you can also find down here in the mines you can find the bush devils they're a little bit harder to see so just watch out for them they will jump out and try and attack you now sometimes in the mines you'll come across these dumpsters which you might have seen when you're out in the desert treasure hunting so we'll just destroy this and see what goodies it gives us so we've got an old toy glass bulb oh an old contraption 
Now these ones are quite rare on sort of ground level. You can find them every now and then, but you do find them more often in the mine. So as it's a rare part used for quite good luxurious tools, it's always worth collecting them while you're down here as well. Now this little bit here will be a perfect place to showcase something you might not know about the mines. So these walls here, as you look on the map, just here this little section here seems to be inaccessible because the black parts of the balls here but did you know that these balls here they can be mined so we'll just grab our pick axe and we'll just mine through this wall and we'll see if this little compartment holds anything interesting sometimes they do sometimes they don't maybe just some iron so that's good we'll grab some iron while we're here can't go wrong with a bit of iron so that will do lovely as well as the dustbins what you will come across in the mines is these junk cars here that are buried now you can either use a pickaxe or a hammer and you can just destroy these and that will give you lots of goodies and as you can see once you've destroyed them they normally give you a load of gears some old wheels and some springs and regards to the ores in the mine the jackpot ore that you're looking for is this one here they can be quite difficult to see but basically it looks like a stone with a little bit of red ore sticking out now if we destroy these as you can see it drops a big item that requires you to pick it up so now it's picked up and it's over my head now you're probably thinking that that's your mine trip over because obviously you don't want to leave it here you want to take it with you and as you know with these items you can't put them in your inventory so you're probably thinking that your mine trip is over you've got to go and sell this and then come back to the mines well, i'm going to show you a little trick now which is very handy to bear in mind for when you take this back stick it on the scales and sell it to john so what you can do is you can take this all the way back to your elevator now as you can see taking it back to the elevator might be a little bit tricky as you can't use your torch but that's why i said to mark the exit point on the map so it pings up on your mini map so you can easily just walk around and find little gaps and find your way back so here we are back at the elevator getting attacked by bats so we'll head on inside now just a side note about the elevator this is sort of like a little safe place so if you are getting overwhelmed by any enemies or bats, you can just jump in here and they can't attack you and they will eventually disappear. But back to this lovely ore we got, which is the ruby. Now these can be sold to John for quite a considerable amount of money depending on the weight. But the trick that you need to know with these, so we don't have to end our mine trip, if we pop them just here in the elevator, we can go back out and carry on our mine exploration and this ruby here it will stay there indefinitely even when we go back up when we finish our trip as well so if we find any more rubies we can just bring them straight back into the elevator drop them on the floor and then head back up when we're done so here i am being overrun by quite a few bats and a devil bush this is the perfect time to show you the little trick with the torch so as you're wandering around with the torch if you just face the enemies and left click as you can see it stuns every single one of them and you can get a good few hits on them now you can use the sun attack with the torch on multiple occasions but for each enemy there is a timeout period so you just have to be careful trying to spam it it doesn't allow you to spam it so we're just going to get rid of these last couple of bats so everyone it's the moment you've all been waiting for so you remember these lovely old keys that i was on about earlier now we get to use them so when you're exploring the mine basically what you are looking for is this sort of area on the map i like to call it a crypt just because it's kind of got that feel to me with it being in mines and things like that so the part you want to look for if you imagine sort of the shape of an igloo oh just get rid of this bat see the bats are the most annoying thing about the mines but they're pretty easy to deal with you can just jump attack them so let's think of it of an igloo shape and you're looking for the entrance to the igloo and it's basically these little steel gates here oh the bat found me right that's that bat down definitely quite annoying when i'm trying to record a video i must say so basically these are where you can find the most treasured items in the mine apart from the rubies so for these you will need two old keys each as you can see we've got one here and we need another one to enter into here as well now you do want to beware when you're entering these as some of them do hold enemies like this one here which just holds in a few bats some have the glowing mushroom crocodiles and some have the devil bushes in so you just got to be careful when you're entering them some if you are really really lucky have absolutely no hostile animals in them at all so they're pretty perfect for that so i'm just going to head into here i'm just going to stun these bats 
Uh, there's not too many of them. Okay, so that's the bats done. And as you can see, it's just a room with a chest inside. Now you can find some interesting and rare items in here. I won't open this one up in the video because I'll leave the surprise to yourselves when you go and find your own in the mines. So as you can see, I was kind of lucky on my mine trip. I managed to find two rubies. It's not the most I've found down here in the mines. My highest is five. So you just want to make sure you spend pretty much the whole day. As you can see by my map, I've uncovered quite a bit of the mine here. We found three tombs or crypts or whatever you want to call them. So I picked up quite a few nice treasures in there as well. That's a full day of exploring the mines and I've uncovered quite a lot. But as you can see, the map of the mines is a lot bigger than this. Now something to note as well is each trip you take down into the mines, it will be completely new map. I'm going to head on up, I'm going to sort my treasures out and I'm going to sell these rubies over to John. I'll have to wait till the morning for that. So I'm going to head back up and get a nice good night's rest so there we are everyone and there's your complete guide to the mines hopefully you found all the information in this video helpful if you did make sure you hit that like button if i have missed anything in this video or you found anything in particular that helped you a lot make sure you let me know down in the comments down below i would like to have your feedback and your thoughts and just before we end the video make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see more dincon content so thank you all for watching and i will see you in the next one